this is the come up show where that feel good music lives, real recognized, real. It's your boy Chet over here in Ajax, Ontario, in the home of the producer who you've heard his beats, you've heard his songs on the radio, you might know the name, it's about time you get really familiar with his face and who he is. Please introduce yourself, sir. What's going on, world? This is T Minus. She can go lower than I ever really thought she could. Face down. The top of your booty jiggling out your jeans, baby. Pull your pants up. I like it when I see you do it better than I've ever seen it done before. A lot of women dropping to the ground, but how low can you? Uh, let's start from the beginning, okay? Uh, you tweeted uh, Just Blaze a few days ago uh, that. Uh, I Really Mean It was one of the songs that really inspired you and Kanye's uh, Through the Wire as well too, yeah. to inspire you to get into producing and download Fruity Loops at a young age. What is it about those couple songs that got, wanted you to be a producer? Honestly, man, I feel yeah. like it was the art of sampling, like, just that whole style, like, coming up into the game. Like, I, I heard that stuff, and I was just like, I was so, you know, I was so surprised hearing that stuff, like, hearing old 70s samples and, like, being sped up and just, you know, the whole art of the music, man, I just fell in love with it. And, you know, that really influenced me to go pick up a program and, you know, just start making beats and, you know, making drum drum loops and stuff like that. So, that's how it all started, you know what I mean? And then, after a while, you know, I started understanding the keyboard and the piano and all that stuff, and... Man, the rest was his section in the club. Give me a rose. Oh, you're more ready to say go. Okay. You're a perfectionist. At the same time, you know everything cannot be perfect. Never. Uh, especially when you, you know your own creation, you can sometimes you can be insecure or self-conscious. When is it? When are you? When do you say, okay, the speed is ready. I'm ready to set it off. You know what? It, yeah. it, it's it's just a feeling I get. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's it's. I, to be honest with you, man, it's it's so weird because like I'll just I'll just build until I feel like it's right. I'll, I'll sit there for either like you know minutes or hours or days or even weeks and just work on one record until I feel like. I, you know, I hear it and I'm just like, you know, that's dope. It just sounds like what, the way the process works when I make a beat, it's like, I kind of just go through sounds and I just listen to shit. You know what I mean? Like, I listen to loops and I listen to, like, you know, little ideas that might inspire something. You know what I mean? Like, I have this loop playing. So, you know, that might inspire into something else. So, you know, that's how the process is. I, I said in a previous interview, you know, I'm on one, took, must have took me like 45 minutes to come up with the beat. But, you know, some beats, they've taken me weeks, you know, to come up with. Like, you know, Moment for Life, it took me a while to actually perfect that beat until I felt like it was suitable, you know, to be sent out. But, you know, it, it's, it's a different process for everything, you know, and I, I kind of feel like that's that's how art is generally. It's really not as easy as people think it is, is making a song, right? Like, no. It's, it's I, like, mean, I mean, music yeah. is, you know... It, it's the same way, it's, it's an art, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, the, only only society can really say, like, what's hot and what's not, you know what I'm saying? But music is music at the end of the day. Like, you know, what might not be hot today might be hot years from now, you know what I'm saying? So it's 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 just what making music for the times what people might, you know, feel for or vibe for now. And you've also said that when you've listened to something and you're like, oh, I could have done this differently when yeah. it's already out and it's been out. Yeah. I could have done this differently or something like that. Yeah. Do you sometimes feel like self-conscious or are you like, ah, oh, I don't want to hear that anymore kind of thing? No, uh, no, no. Or no. I mean, yeah. I, I, yeah. you know, when I put out a record, like, you know, and I think it's dope. I, I love it for what it is. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. the record's done, the beat's done. You know, there's no going back then. But, you know, every once in a while, you know, you'll you'll hear a beat and it's just like, mm, like, you know, I could have added this, I could have added that. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's it's music. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And people either love it or they hate it. Mm -hmm. It's been a great year for you. Did, what, what did you uh, learn this past year that you're going to carry on for the rest of your life? that distinction that thing that happened you're like okay well I mean yeah. like I kind of feel like this was definitely you know my biggest year you know what I'm saying 2011 I had a lot of a lot of big records out you know it taught me a lot about you know working with the artists because like Drake was one person that you know I worked closely with for you know an extended period of time and like in the studio so just you know just being in the studio and seeing how artists work and and being around them it just taught me to like you know understand the process of like what goes on in their head and you know how they want to be how they want the record to be put out as an image, you know what I mean, as a beat. So it's like, I, I learned a lot from that, you know. Rich off of trouble water, ice in my muddy water. Rich off a of mixtape, got rich off a of mixtape. When you think Drake, think uh, an amazing uh, musician, he uh, might not realize it, but Drake is a great producer. He is, man. Tell definitely. us about that. Definitely, man. Yeah. Like, I, I, it's, it's nice, man. Just, just listening to his like his growth as an artist, man. And like, you know, he had a lot to he had a lot to say and a lot to do with, you know. 
you know, creating the records. Like, he, you know, I, I'd send him a beat, and he'd be like, man, you know, we'll take that out or we'll leave that in, you know, and then he'll get 40 involved, and, you know, he would, you know, do his thing on it, and it would be crazy, you know what I'm saying? So it's like all of us, as a collaboration, we definitely, you know, come up with some great records. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, another thing is, too, with him, it's like he likes to be a part of, you know, the, the Toronto scene, and he, he really loves the city, you know, and, and, I, and, I, and I feel that way because he's definitely given us all opportunities, you know, like 40, myself, or Wonder, you know what I mean, and even, you know, The weekend himself, so it, it's just great, like, he likes to keep it, you know, everything at home, and, you know, and just bail, you know, and he really puts on for the city, so I have a yeah. lot of respect for him. For yeah, sure. and I think the whole city feels that way as well, too, Definitely. there's no way you can deny it, it's very easy when you get to that level to forget about yeah. where you're from, and maybe just mention a few times here and there, but, like, he's, like, he was out of King of the Dot, uh, which is underground battle scene that, you know what I mean, he didn't have to be there, and he, oh. he's doing a lot of things, and he's showing a lot of love, that's it's a yeah. beautiful thing. This is Drizzy Drake. You already know, official king of the dot representer, number one fan, however you want to call it, whatever you want to say. I don't give a fuck, man. I rep it. You know, you're at this level now. You're working with multi-platinum uh, producers, uh, number one hits. Uh, you know, we all have egos, and it's something that you seem like you're a humble person. So tell me what keeps you grounded, what keeps you humble. You can be easily boasting right now. Well, honestly, man, yeah. I feel like, you know, we're all human beings, you know, yeah. we all, we all, like, you know, we all, we all share the same, same uh, air, so to speak, you know, so it's like, I don't, I don't really feel like, you know, I'm any better of a person than, you know, somebody else working a job as an accountant or as, like, as a lawyer, you know, or, or working at Walmart or something like that, so it's like, it, it's just a job at the day, you know what I mean, I, I feel blessed to be able to create music and do what I love, you know what I'm saying, and, you know, make money at it, you know, at the same time, so. I feel like, you know, my parents did a good job raising me, you know, my siblings as well. I've just been surrounded by great people, you know what I mean? I try to keep my, my friends close, you know what I mean? The people that were there from the beginning, you know what I mean? I still keep them around, so it's like, it's, it's just great to keep the, that aura, you know, around you at all times. But I never get, you know, too caught up because I feel like as a producer, as an artist, like, as soon as you start getting gassed, man, that's when everything falls apart. So what, what's next for you then? What's... Man, I'm just, that's crazy, you know. What's next for me? I'm not, now. I think is a is a great opportunity for myself, you know, because I'm, you know, I'm at that platform where people want to hear the music coming out from me, and like, you know, I have have opportunities, you know, you know, even do labels, or do a label or something like that, and you know, have artists or stuff and stuff like that, you know. So yeah. I'm just trying to work with like everybody right now, yeah. you know, everybody, you know, that I really enjoy, like, you know, I, I love Kendrick Lamar, I love his music, you know, ASAP Rocky, you know, Drake, you know. I'm, I'm a big fan too as well, so it's like I'm I'm trying to you know get in the studio with those guys and get some records done. But you know there's plenty of others you know like I'm working with as well. I, I don't want to say no names, yeah, you know, I don't want to speak yeah. too soon, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. definitely there's people on the list. Man. And what does that music mean to you? What does music mean to me? Yeah. Man, it's I mean I love music since I was like probably two years old. Like I remember my parents. They told me stories how like I'd rather, you know, watch a music video than watch cartoons on TV, you know, so it's just growing up being surrounded by music and you know, like what it could do to your life and how it could change that and how it can alter, you know, you know, what goes on. It's just like it, it's, it's such an important part of who I am, you know what I'm saying? And like today, you know, music's such a big part of me. Like I you know, I'm constantly, you know, in the studio and I'm constantly thinking of new ideas. So music it means a lot, you know what I'm saying? Sure. Um, is there anything else that you want to say to the people out there? Then? Man, honestly, all I can really say is like you know, just you know, stay strong and keep working on that music. You know, what I mean, keep building yourself as a person. You know, building yourself as a creative individual and like you know, continue to strive for success because I feel like you know, I came from a small town myself, like Ajax. You know what I mean? Like population is like. 90,000 out here, you know what I'm saying, so, you know, definitely, you know, opportunity is open to anybody, you know, especially with the internet and stuff like that, so, I think definitely you should just, you know, keep striving, you know, and stay passionate, and, you know, keep working. Thank you very much for this opportunity, Team Minus, appreciate it, you know what I mean, as we say on the Come Up Show, where that feel good music lives, real recognize, real, Team Minus, get familiar.